You're it's perp back with another video and I just got done checking out Let the Right One In season one episode seven. This is the pen ultimate episode. Next week is the finale. I cannot wait. And my predictions have come true in this episode. This is much more of a backstory on exactly what happened 10 years ago. So with all that being said, yo, make sure you all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're new, follow me on Twitter at PerpMinded420. Yeah, man. And also follow me on TikTok at PerpMinded. I drop content on there as well. So let's kick things off because, you know, we go back in time 10 years ago. Everything is all good. You know what I'm saying? They're having a great time. You see Elizabeth there. Everybody, Zeke's there. Um, Mark is just having the time of his life just with his family. It, uh, it just, you know, but then things just take a quick left. You know, this is where we finally get to see exactly what happens to Ellie's character, you know, and her and her mom and just how close they were. And it was really sad. You know, it was dope to see this, like, see them as a family but to see what happens next and to see ellie actually getting attacked by whatever it was we don't really know and her actually kind of testing out her it well the, the stuff is kicking in so i have some thoughts about that as well like just the symptoms of you know her skin being sensitive to the sunlight um her wanting blood and you know what i'm saying and this is a very traumatic thing for a parent to kind of go through with their child and where this kind of leads off and where you kind of see where Mark goes into this dark path. So Ellie gets into describing exactly what happened to her. And this was really graphic. I'm just surprised. It's like, damn, yo, this is pretty graphic because this is still a kid and she's getting like kind of mangled and stuff like that and ragdolled and describing that she saw yellow eyes and stuff like that so this is where also we find out how mark and zeke kind of come up with how to track this thing or come up to the realization that they got to kind of do this themselves because they can't go to the professionals they don't know what they're talking about but then this is where things really get interesting and where zeke sees Eleanor's eyes and sees that they're glowing. He kid, kid's kind of freaked out. And then Elizabeth and everybody starts to say a prayer. But then Ellie breaks from her restraints and gets ready to bite uh, Elizabeth. But then Zeke is like, look, 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 I know what to do. I, I don't know if, if this is going to work. I've seen some movies. <laughs> and she's able to calm down once she consumes human blood and this starts to kind of freak out everybody you know what i'm saying and i like that mark's like yo so you saw the eyes and everything so we, we don't know what to really do so all they have to do really is to get her home so they kind of come up with a way to pretty much get her out of the hospital and get her home and i also like that Zeke is also uh, also constantly pressing Mark about like what are you gonna do now like how are you going to live what are you going to do like th this isn't normal you know what I'm saying I've watched a bunch of movies but if this is what it is then th this this is not gonna look good I don't know how this is gonna work which leads to my favorite part of this episode well at least one of my favorite parts where we see what happens when uh ellie is not invited in and she starts to bleed from her eyes her mouth her ears like everywhere she just starts to just it looks like a scene from carrie bro it was really crazy the look on my face is how zeke was looking and zeke's like uh you are invited in and it, it and it goes back to them uh referring to the the movies that they've seen like vampire movies and whatnot and what i really like about this episode as a whole is it really makes me feel like I'm watching early Walking Dead as far as them explaining exactly how they survive 
all this time and how they're able to maneuver all the different techniques they've come up with up until this point that we've seen. And it's dope to kind of see and get that backstory. So as Zeke and Mark decide to go track whatever this thing is that has uh, bitten Ellie, Elizabeth, you know, pretty much has done the math and figures out that, you know, we're not going to have enough blood to sustain her her uh, her feeding schedule or just be able to feed her on time and just it's not enough blood pretty much and mark is pretty much like determined to do whatever it takes at this moment to make sure his daughter lives and she said something around the ballparks of she might have two or three months to live so as he goes around and tries to track down people that have been attacked and whatnot he actually comes across claire and this is before the um her father dies and whatnot and this is the plug and i'm wondering how he's going to react to seeing her again eventually maybe in the finale or in season two or in a future season and it just becomes taxing because they keep constantly have to take um you know turns on feeding eleanor their blood it goes from um elizabeth to zeke to mark and it just becomes too much to the point where this is where Mark gets really crazy where he comes up with the idea that he wants to kill this guy and he's not just no normal guy he's like a, a he, he's a predator and whatnot so he's like why not nobody's gonna really miss him Zeke is like are you crazy and Elizabeth is kind of like siding with Mark and you know this kind of causes these two to kind of have a falling out but Elizabeth is down but she's trying to break it down to Mark on like, what is he going to do and how you're going to go about doing it. And this is where they come up with the whole technique of draining out somebody by like hanging them upside down. So the blood rushes to their head. So it's, it's quicker. And man, this was brutal too, man. You could tell Mark, Mark didn't really waste no time, bro. He pretty much overpowered this dude and put him to sleep. And just, that's the worst when you're sleeping and you just wake up. And you're uh, hanging upside down and he just he's just his effort it just slits his throat and you know but before he can leave he he runs into the worst luck you know of course the car has trouble starting and then he gets right into an accident and with all that time kind of lost now he has he, he's too late you know we find out why he has that timer as well because it's an hour before the blood is no good you know we find out also that she needs fresh blood it can't just be blood that's been sitting around and mark is just broken up by this and so is elizabeth and this is where we have a really crazy heart-to-heart -heart moment between elizabeth and ellie and she's looking up to the stars and this is really why ellie went back to the house as well and I'm glad, I'm glad that we're getting all this context because what happens next is is pretty devastating. So as Mark gets himself together, he notices one of the kitchen knives are missing. And then he quickly runs upstairs, but the door is, Ellie, uh, Ellie's door is locked. And what ends up happening is um, Elizabeth sacrifices herself. She slits her wrist and starts to feed um ellie her blood and just being her mother and it's just really sad and before and life is just flashing before her eyes she's just remembering all the good times and but before um mark can get there it's too late you know ellie's just already like kind of like hunched over elizabeth and she just got blood everywhere and it's just amazing episode let me know how you guys feel about this episode this was really dope i can't wait to see what they do for the finale but this was a great uh episode you know getting the whole origins of whatnot of everything that went down like i said i'll see y'all in the next one peace